Five, a private Tulsa high school becomes the first in the state to test students for alcohol use using hair samples. Two Works For You reporter Jitzel Puente is live outside Bishop Kelly High School with parent reaction. Jitzel? Brian's staff members are randomly picking students here at Bishop Kelly High School to do a hair follicle test. The school says it's a way to keep students safe from harmful substances. I don't want my children involved in that, and so I'm completely okay with Bishop Kelly doing that. Although Carla Victor has never been worried about her children's alcohol or drug consumption, she's concerned for other students at Bishop Kelly. My children have both been tested for the drugs. Eight years ago, the Catholic school was the first one in the state to use the same method to test for drug activity. I know that there's been other children that um, have, uh, Kelly has tested and, and found that they were involved with, with drugs. Today, we visited the Weaver Drug Testing Lab in Tulsa to see just how the hair follicle testing works. I'm going to take your hair from the crown of the head, measure out from the scalp back, and only take the first 1.5 inches of hair, and that is what we test from. Lab collector Jerry White says the results detect excessive alcohol use in the past three months. Unlike a urine sample, hair results are much more difficult to alter. If kids are doing a hair test and they're consuming alcohol, they are going to get caught. If a Bishop Kelly student tests positive for alcohol more than one time, he or she could be expelled. Victor says it's reassuring to know the school is looking out for students' health and safety. It does give me some comfort to know, you know, somebody else is watching your child as well.